What up, it's your boy Nick Incredible Man, and this is 911 Season 5, Episode 12, Discussion Slash Review, titled Boston. Let's talk about it, man. This is the very first episode that Maddie is back, and I gotta say, I loved it. Happy that she's back, man. But we know that she took the hiatus in real life because she actually had a baby in real life. So we knew why she took that break. But I loved how the show handled the fact that she was still dealing with postpartum. And like I said, I love how they, like when they introduced her to having it, like it wasn't like a one-off type thing. She didn't have it here a couple times. The next thing you know, it disappeared and she was better all of a sudden. It was a, a working progress. And they even showed that progress in this episode. And I love how television does when they when they handle something real, man. And if it's handled right, it's great television, but it can also be something that can actually help some people in real life, man. Because this was handled very, very right, in my opinion. I don't know. I can't speak from personal experiences or anything, but just watching this episode, like if you were dealing with something like that, I felt like this is the prime example for you to reach out and get that help because this show showcased that it's not something that's, oh, well, this day I feel great, this day I feel fine. No, this was something that Maddie had constantly dealt with and it's been six months. But we see this episode when she's back, we see that she went to Boston. We see that before she went to Boston, she tried to kill herself. She tried to drown herself in the ocean, and, and and that whole scene was very impactful, man. It was a lot of stuff going into that scene because it was kind of very reminiscent of what happened with ji Yoon and then Maddie trying to kill herself, and then she saved herself for Chimney and ji Yoon. And it was it was very tough to to watch that scene, man. But I love the fact that we get to see Maddie working through her progress with this. It's not something that happened off screen. It, it, it happened. We got to see her take these steps with it. And I love the time span. It, it, it was a it was a it was six months. So that was a good time for, you know, for her to really focus and find herself again. And we learned that it wasn't just postpartum. It was postpartum thyroiditis that really just kind of affected her the way that it did. And, I mean, you learn something new every day, man, especially with this episode, because I have never heard of thyroiditis. But you learn something new every day, man. And we see that Maddie has, has built a life for herself in Boston because she done her, well, I don't want to say resident because she's not a doctor, but she went through her training at that hospital. So that's why she felt like that hospital was home. But I love that her and Chimney both were calling their brothers and, 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 really reaching out for, to family in this instance. I know she should have reached out to Chimney, but she wasn't quite there yet. But Buck heard the bells in the background, so it kind of played off all of the stuff that we've already seen, but it kind of just gave it like a different time frame from Maddie's and Chimney's perspective, which was very nice to handle with this episode. So we could see kind of how it flowed together. We have Chimney talking to Bobby this episode to, and Bobby telling him, hey, you still got a job here, but you know, there's a lot of people asking questions. You got to come back sooner or later or there's going to be major problems. And Chimney wasn't quite ready to give up. And I love the fact that Chimney and Eli, like we knew they were close, but like we can really see how, how, um, Eli's advice really helped Chimney in these situations that he he found himself in, you know, sitting outside the hospital, waiting for Maddie, constantly going to all these other hospitals, uh, passing out the flyers. We see how Eli's advice kind of really just helped him in those situations because Chimney probably would have ran himself ragged because he was very close to the edge, if you will. And the fact that he was the volunteer, when um, Eli got him to volunteer, and then Maddie's, you know, she's going through the program and then she became an outpatient and everything and she's getting better. Then she meets this one lady that, you know, decides to actually friend her and they become friends and they kind of help each other, you know, uh, become a better version of themselves for their kids. And having that take place and then having Maddie say that she's getting better and this chick comes in drunk and kind of relapses a little bit. I felt sorry for her, but. The fact that like she was trying to help him and Maddie was roaming around the city and then Chimney was volunteering and he was helping out these patients and stuff. The dude with the, the bagpipe mold. Never knew nothing about that. I never knew that. That's crazy, man. You learn stuff every day. That's crazy. But um, 
the the fact that they kept missing each other that was that was fun to me like i was so upset that they never actually came in contact but it was nice to have them oh man had she waited just a little bit longer she would have saw chimney had chimney waited just a little bit longer he would have saw maddie it was nice that they kept missing each other in the past like passing each other and they kept missing each other that was fun and then when they finally did meet because of um maddie's friend which just so happens to be aj cook aka jennifer Giroux from um criminal minds that was nice that was a nice little easter egg if you will like her and maddie being together because they work together on criminal minds you know that was that was i thought that was nice that was something that was cool but it was nice to see that they finally did meet each other and they had an honest conversation with each other like a legitimate, honest conversation. They sat on the bench and Chimney kind of weighed his thoughts out and Maddie kind of gave him her whole reason as to what happened. And Chimney was just like so heartbroken when he found out that she almost killed herself. But she didn't and they had a legitimate, honest conversation. And I think that's something that they never had when they were in LA. Like Chimney wanted to help her, but they, but he, he didn't listen at the same time. And Maddie... She needed help, but she wasn't like getting help. Like it, it's, it's weird because like they were there for each other, but they weren't for, for each other. You know what I'm saying? So now they finally had that communication that they needed. And at the very end of the episode, Chimney brought June to see Maddie. She starts singing the wheels on the bus and Maddie gets called mama. It was, it was a nice ending and it was great. I love how this episode handled everything i have no qualms and at the very ending of the episode we see that Jen i mean uh, jennifer love hewitt called out and, and and made that call that you know this is the number for the suicide prevention hotline in the website for people if they're going through things like that if you want to do that there's help for you it was it was a perfect episode and i loved it i have no qualms man this your boy dick incredible don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash it anymore comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to man and i normally don't do this type of stuff but i'll put that number here as well if you really need help man please please reach out man peace out I'm too in my